day, YouTube. I'm using this tripod I got in the mail from a fan. Just trying to find the right place for it. Anyway, so as you, some of you may know, that snowbird video I posted went a little viral. Um, I always wanted one of my videos to do that, and it finally did that. And after I filmed it, I realized this is going to go viral. So, it's not like, like, tens of thousands, a hundred thousand views rival, rival, but it's, I think, let's see how many we got now. Um, we got 5,554. It's slowing down now. Um, so it went viral a bit. Not like majorly huge, but, um, yeah, I always wanted the video to do that. Also, also, this is what happens when I don't charge my battery at night. I just die. <laughs> also, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, it was also on the news. It was on CBC, Nova Scotia, twice. They made an article about it. And they had a link to my video. And CBC, late night. And it was on TV. CBC Atlantic. CBC, CTV Atlantic, sorry. CTV Toronto. They actually, CTV actually came to my house and interviewed me. Um, it was on Breakfast Television Vancouver. It was on a uh, blog magazine flash thing. Um, the uh, Aviation... Geek Club, I think it's called, so, um, yeah, so it went pretty viral there, um, I'm sure we got more views if, if it was, like, the link was on TV, but you can't do that, right, but, um, so that's pretty exciting, so, I got a few things to talk about on this video, one was that, and got a shout out to do, I got a, I'm going to do a review of a little air show we went to. And then that will probably be it for today. I do have tomorrow's video. I just got to put it together and edit it and stuff. It's a pretty cool video. Um, <clears throat> so we'll do the shout out next, I guess. Um, actually, no. <clears throat> we'll talk about the uh, snowbird video some more. Uh, I really wish my hand was steady because it's a little shaky, but that was okay. Also, I've been searching on YouTube maybe every two or three hours if anybody stole my video, so far we're good. There's actually another video out there of the fire, but I started recording it right away and this guy started recording when the fire trucks came out. <coughs> but he has almost the same amount of views and it's never been on the news or anything, which is kind of, uh, you know? His video is a bit better, but I was filming longer before and in pain. Um, and if you go to Facebook, you type in Snowbird Fire. It's all his videos that people share. You'll see a bit of mine and stuff. But, oh well. Things happen, you know? Um, see, CNN never contacted me, though. Maybe I should email them and see if they want, they want or anything. Um... Let's see here, what else I was going to say. Oh yeah, shout out. So, before the air show, I did a little video there. And the competition was, uh, how many copyright strikes I'll get on my air show video. Because all copyright music playing in the background. And the winner is Greg Thomas. He voted one. And I got zero, so he's the closest, I guess. The other one was four or five, and the other one is 33. <laughs> I'm happy I didn't get that many. I got zero for some odd reason. Um, of course, YouTube and their new automated crap system is unfriendly advertising. And they won't put ads on it. But I got that fixed on my Snowbird video. But now they've done it to my Aerosol video. And it's just qu quite annoying when YouTube does that. Because it says, you must have over a thousand views in seven days. And I was like, 
I don't even, I don't mostly get a thousand views per video, like an airshow video, no, a snowboard video, yes, so that got accepted, but sometimes they do accept and if they don't have a thousand, so, I don't know, I didn't break any rules on the video, so I don't know why I caught it, I really wish they fixed their system because it sucks, YouTube is going downhill in my term, everybody's term really, um, I don't like this, this tripod might be a bit crooked, but oh well. Alright, so we done the shout out, we talked about the news, we talked about. Next we'll do the little air show review. The air show itself was not the best. It was free for us, I won tickets. It was good, it was good, don't get me wrong, it was good, but from being on Ontario, we, I'm used to some good air shows. And... Um, this air show of organizers lack the military aircraft, fighter jet stuff, American aircraft. They lack that, let's just say. They have one on display, ground display, a U.S. tanker that I've seen flown before. But it wasn't flying, okay? So we had, uh, who do we have? We had that little stunt plane, that white one. We had the Red Bull plane. We had the... Uh, Corsair was which was amazing. Actually, Corsair was on Battle of Black Sheep Squadron TV show. Snowbirds, CF-18, um, Wingwalker, Glider, Aurora, Snowbirds. So we had about eight, nine or so. Event, a uh, World War II Avenger was supposed to show up, but they broke down Maine. Um, and during our air show. Oh, they had the Skyhawks too. I forgot about those guys. During our air show, the Red Bull plane and jet truck. Oh, the jet truck. The jet truck were supposed to race afterwards, and jet truck did not set up, start up. So there was a nothing there. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, what else? Parking was really weird. They parked early on the runway, and you weren't weren't early enough. Um. You missed the air show pretty much, because <laughs> traffic was all the way backed up into the highway. Luckily, I told my parents we should leave earlier, and they listened, and we were there. We got maybe 30, 35 minutes in line up trying to get in. It was about 11, 11.20 or 11.30, and we got parked and stuff, and um, the show started about... 1230, 1220, something like that, something like that, anyway, um, just realizing this, did I say who won the shout-out? Greg Thomas, uh, T, G, T, T, G, T, Harmony, link will be below, um, I just, that's just a little brain fart there, so the part, you know, dumb, I read people's reviews on their Facebook page and say they, they didn't make it to the air show, they just turned around because by the end they got here, it'd be over. And that really sucks for paying customers. That's why I don't pay tickets to the air show in advance. And weather wise, too. So, pretty good air show. Um, it's not like Ontario or anything, or America or England or anything. This little air show used to be the biggest air show. Used to, used to be called the Nova Scotia International Air Show. And that's called Atlantic Canada because they move everywhere every year. And it used to be based at Shearwater every year. And it used to be the organizers used to be a military thing. So it would be all military aircraft. Red Arrow used to come. B-1 bombers. And then the government shut down Shearwater and didn't fix their runway. Shearwater still going but it's a helicopter port now. Uh, next year they announced that it'll be back at Shearwater, so they'll have to take the planes off in the main airport, international airport, and fly them in, do their demo, fly back out, you know? So, we'll go over to that, maybe. Maybe that's a sign that it's going to be big. I, I hope so. I really do. So, that's about... Greenway was about an hour and 45 minute drive. Shearwater is just 30 minutes, so it's not too bad. But we do know a place where you can watch it without paying. <laughs> um, yeah. So 
probably might do that, or if I can win tickets, or it's cheaper. Uh, the other thing I don't like about the air show is how expensive it was if you bought tickets. $28 per person. Kids under 12 was free. Um, so that was okay, but the one in Ontario air show is coming up, and they got the F-15s, f like two different kinds of F-18 from American, from America, A-10, four A-10 that are, that are coming to for air display. Um, all the other military aircraft are coming and they got like 16 different military aircraft coming for display and it was 30 bucks, so two dollars more for that show, which just doesn't make any sense, but anyways. <laughs> So, yeah, overall it was a good air show. We went around there a bit, 5,000 views. So I really still do want to get like tens of thousands of views viral, but this will do, I guess. We went on CBC and those news things. I'll contact CNN and see if they want to do the story. It's been, today's Tuesday, so it's been like four days now, but we'll see. You know, I don't, I don't think I saw the story of them. I don't know why they didn't do a story about it, but maybe we'll see. But um, been very tired the past four days because I'm working, getting c contracted, contacted by media, and trying to get the original video. It took me like five hours to edit, and uh, um, let's see here, the media and. Searching through all the YouTube and news sites to see if they took my stuff without asking. That kind of stuff. So this is just a short, little boring video for you. Update video. Um, battery's about to die because I didn't charge it yesterday. But I do have a bit of a exciting video tomorrow for you. Uh, it has to do something to GoPro. So I don't even know how that turned out. But... We'll see. Sorry, I just... Silent burp. I just had lunch. <laughs> anyway, so... Oh, yeah. I did gain a few subscribers over this. I think I gained about 10. 5,000 views, 10 subscribers. Okay. Uh, so I just want to welcome to you to the channel. Uh, I don't have an upload schedule. I just upload whenever I have something for you guys. Um... Yeah, so, have any, any of new subscribers have anything to ask me, just let me know. I'll, I'll ask, I tell, sorry, answer. Um, yeah, I put this somewhere, this is what they gave me for this. Oh yeah, another thing, if you didn't watch the air show video, the snowbirds after the show asked people to come up with their footage so they can use it to review it and see how it happened and how long the res response was for the fire truck was very slow. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna go edit this up, get my laundry in, clean up a bit here, I gotta do the front grass. Did the back yesterday in the pouring rain, and I was just soaked by them, so I'm gonna do the front now. But, um, as it, as it is right now, I'm done talking. Done being annoying. You guys can go on to your next video that you subscribe to. So, I want to thank you for watching. And I'll let you know if if it goes anywhere else on the news so you can see it. But as of right now, nothing. It's been quiet. Last one was actually morning for media. So, it's been quiet. It's been nice. Views are dropping down, like, I was getting like 120 an hour, 140, now it's getting like, I think, 23 an hour or so, so, slowing down a bit, but, that's alright. I didn't beat my, my record, though, of 17,000 views, so, yet, anyways. But anyway, so thanks for watching, and that'll be it, so we'll see you guys tomorrow.